was growing up um, in southern New Jersey, and I went to a Catholic high school, and it was there, um, just in a moment of prayer, we had, we had retreats, we had campus ministry there, that I really felt that invitation from Jesus to belong totally to him. Um, but I wasn't in a place where I understood that, or knew what to make of it, or knew, knew what to do with it. So Jesus and I, we put it on the back burner <laughs> um, for a little bit. And it wasn't then until I went to college, um, to Villanova University, I was studying biology, and we ended up driving through South Dakota. Um, we were driving across the country. And I wrote in my journal, South Dakota is beautiful. The people here are great, and I would love to come back. And our Lord had really put a desire in my heart to serve, um, to be with the poor, to be with his people, to find him in those people. And so the following summer, I was looking for a way to serve, um, and a way, a way to be on, on mission and, and to encounter him in the, in the poor. And I ended up on a reservation in North Dakota. I didn't know that there would be priests and sisters there, but our community, the Society of Our Lady of the Most Holy Trinity, we have priests and sisters and lay people. And so when I got out there, um, thinking here I was just to, just to serve, just to spend the summer um, in service, it was there that I encountered our sisters and where my call to religious life really came back in a very strong and, and clear way. Um, that this call, our, our charism is to serve in teams in areas of deepest apostolic need. And so to serve with our sisters and our priests and our laity, um, where Jesus needs it most. And so since then, I've, I was a teacher for a few years, and then I entered religious life. I'm still a novice, so I'm in my second year of novitiate, which is our last year before vows. And so I guess the rest will be history. <laughs> for more information on religious life, log on to ewtn.com slash religious life.